Next up, please welcome the president of retail and shopping at Google, Daniel Allegre. I hope you do believe. Uh, thank you very much, everybody. Thanks for coming. I hope you now have some sugar running through your, your blood system after a, a good hearty lunch. My name is Daniel Legre. I'm president of retail and shopping at Google. You know, I've been in partnerships at Google for over 14 years now. I've worked across multiple verticals, retail, uh, sorry, travel, publishers, telcos. And last year, right before Black Friday and Cyber Monday, I turned to focus on the retail and shopping space. And you know, I thought after that holiday weekend that things would actually die down a little bit and we could catch our breath. But the reality is that the consumer is engaging with digital more and more and more, and that pace is only accelerating. And we're seeing that ourselves at Google. You know, in the past, we used to get queries for really high consideration products, whether it be a television, a uh, flat screen TV, a digital camera. But we're seeing more and more searches coming for what we would consider kind of mon mundane products, whether it's a, a carpet or uh, toothbrushes. We've even seen a threefold increase in queries for travel pillows. The consumer is so much more curious than they have ever been and they're interacting with that information. And I'll give you a perfect example. Me. This is my dog, Charlie. He's a boxer dog. And unfortunately, the boxer breed is a, a breed prone to cancer. So as Charlie has been maturing, I have do queries over and over again on what is the right diet for the boxer breed. I now consider myself an expert in boxer diet and dog diet. If anyone has a boxer, please come talk to me afterwards. Because you see this dog here, you would never guess that Charlie is 11 years old. He looks like the two-year-old puppy he was almost a, a decade ago because of my curiosity. But we're also seeing that the consumer is much more demanding. When we get a query from a consumer and they're searching for, let's say, Chinese restaurant, in the mind of the consumer, their expectation is that Google understands the context really, really well. So we don't just provide them any Chinese restaurant. Depending on the time of day, we know that they're probably looking for takeout, or they're trying to see where a Chinese restaurant is close to where they may be, maybe the opening hours. The consumer is expecting us to understand so much more than they ever have. Very, very demanding. And they've also become extremely impatient. If you look around in your hands, many of you have a mobile phone. The mobile phone has made it so that when you want to engage with content and when you're ready to shop, you expect it right there and then. And we see it reflected in our queries. We've seen a two-fold increase in same-day shipping. We've seen a three-fold increase in open now. The consumer wants to interact at their own time whenever they're ready. And we have to be ready to deliver that experience for them. And it's no surprise that almost two-thirds of in-store sales are influenced by digital. The consumer is ever, ever interacting with digital touch points. And what does that do? What does that mean for us in this ecosystem? Well, it means that the consumer is leaving tremendous number of breadcrumbs, digital footprint, proactively engaging with various forms and sending us these little cues. Yes, they're curious. Yes, they're impatient. Yes, they're demanding. But they're also saying, understand me better. And data is really becoming the backbone of retail. Companies like Amazon, for instance, 35% of the revenue comes from personalization. They've spent $16 billion to get there. Kroger announced Project Restock, $9 billion in investment to match their inventory in-store to consumer demands that are happening 
on real time. 90% of the world's information has been created over the last two years. But you know, interestingly, only 1% is actually being analyzed. And not all companies have the wherewithal to spend the billions of dollars that's required to data mine and understand this data. And that's where Google comes in. You know, data is Google's DNA. Nobody understands data better than we do. And we're bringing the power of our machine learning capabilities to the retail ecosystem. You know, Alon mentioned earlier that he didn't like investors in the beginning, and now he loves them. Well, we've always loved retail. From the, the, uh, uh, the inception of, of Google, we've been partners with retail, and we want to make you deeply successful. And we're leveraging our platforms for the ecosystem's benefit. And I'll give you an example of how machine learning can truly transform a unique experience. Google Photos. I hope, I hope you have Google Photos, and if you, if you don't, you should definitely try it. We've put our machine learning capabilities on Google Photos so that it doesn't matter whether you have one or even a million pictures. You can do a search and just type in, let's say, dog. And even though you haven't tagged dog with your picture, through our machine learning algorithms, we can identify every single dog that is in your photos, whether it's in the forefront or in the background. And it doesn't matter the size. And delivered in a matter of nanoseconds. That's a, an incredible, deep, rich, rich experience that can only happen through the power of deep knowledge and machine learning that Google is bringing to the table. So what does this mean for the retail partnerships that we have? And we're so excited about this. Google can essentially bring intelligence to your inventory management linking to real-time analytics and understanding the consumer to your inventory. Retailers have an exceptional asset, physical stores. But the consumer is going in and out of the store and always interacting with digital. So how can we help you create an exceptional omni-channel experience? And lastly, the consumer is expecting you to know them deeply and personally that deep personal experience is integral to the future in this omni-channel world. I'll give you an example. For whatever reason, we, when you look at our Google searches, champion brands tend to be searched a lot in the East Coast. Umbro, for whatever reason, it's actually searched more on the West Coast. Companies who are understanding consumer demand need to immediately adapt to consumer trends. And these can change on a day-by-day -day basis, depending on what may be happening around the world. For instance, the recent fires in Sonoma and Napa. Incredible uh, disaster, but actually causes people to, to need new inventory, new, new demands in their queries. And what company has done this really, really well? Home Depot. And I experienced this personally in the Napa fires. Right before Cyber, uh, Black Friday and Cyber Monday, they switched to the Google Cloud. And what Home Depot was able to do was immediately link the knowledge that we had about Google search plus their understanding of consumer demand and integrated it seamlessly in real time into their distribution infrastructure. Because they understood that 61% of users and consumers, when they come to your store and they don't find the product they're looking for, they're going to go somewhere else to find it. And if they leave, they're likely not to come back. And this integration that Home Depot did made sure that the product was available, either delivered straight to the consumer at the right time, or was available in the store when the consumer was coming in. And this led to an immediate increase in online sales and a 5% increase in offline sales, intelligent inventory. But also, consumers are expecting a much deeper personal experience. And this is one of my, my personal favorites, what Coca-Cola did. Coca-Cola was looking to bring digital signage to the stores in a personal way to consumers as they're considering whether they're going to purchase a Coca-Cola product. But for them to do this at scale was cost prohibitive. 
it would cost about fifty to sixty thousand dollars per store to enable a digital signage. Well, by leveraging the Google Cloud and the openness of the Android and the Chrome platform, they were able to do this quickly and cost effectively with the use of resellers, and were able to launch this in over 250 Albertsons grocery stores and saw immediate sales uplift by providing messages personalized to the consumer right there and then with a digital display. And Alon from House referred to this. We are ensuring that we bring the best of technology to the retail experience. And one of this is AR Core, which is now available on the Google Play Store and available in over 100 million devices. We are bringing AR functionality into Android so that apps can provide that beautiful, seamless experience in AR, whether it's finding a barbecue that you want to see what it looks like in your backyard, or eBay, for whom marketplace sellers are absolutely imperative to their ecosystem, immediately being able to find out what's the right size box in order for them to ship the product to an eager consumer waiting for it. That's the power of AR Core. And Alon referred to this as well. You see immediate results. That stat of 11 times increase in conversions is astounding. But it's what can happen when you engage in a rich format with a consumer. But now, we've gone through understanding inventory and real-time inventory management. How do you create a beautiful omni-channel experience personalized for the user and enhance it with AR capabilities? There's still one significant area of friction, and that's payments. This is what Google Pay is trying to solve the fact that, on average, it takes 140 taps to input your, your payment information when you're about to purchase. And every path to friction, we all know, leads to a significant drop in conversions. So Google Pay is bringing the power of our overall platform ecosystem, where users are giving us their payments credentials, and we're embedding them across not only Google, but enabling it offline for retail merchants. And a perfect example you can see this is through our partnership that we recently announced with NXP in the Las Vegas monorail. If you go out there, you're going to be able to use your Google Pay app and seamlessly go into the monorail. Beautiful experience, satisfied customer, but more importantly, much better conversions. And Google Pay is embedded into loyalty programs so you can actually target the user in an intelligent way. But we all have really busy lives. You know, I've got three little kids. They're now starting to play baseball, so I have to start taking them to, uh, to baseball games. And I recognize that although I purchase a lot of what I, I do in store, I'm moving around all over the place. I'm constantly connected. And I constantly have needs that may go beyond the actual physical store. And this omni-channel consumer is asking for a deeper, personalized experience. And that's where the Google Assistant comes in. The Google Assistant understands context and understands the identity of the user and provides a seamless, richer experience right there and then. The Google Assistant is available on over 400 million devices. That is 20 times more than the next voice assistant. Now let's walk through a typical weekend. Me, for instance, last weekend. I was taking my kids to their baseball practice, and the Google Assistant informed me that I'm, I was running out of the dog food for my dog, Charlie. And it knew that there is a PetSmart on the way to the baseball game. With a simple voice command, I could say, OK, Google, buy me X product, and where's the nearest PetSmart? And immediately directed me right to there. A few minutes, come in, out, ready to go to the baseball game. The assistant was my personal friend, making life much easier for me. But then, as I'm sitting there in the baseball game, I get a text from my wife. Don't forget, we have dinner tonight, and she had forgotten the ingredients to her very special guacamole that everyone is always looking forward to. She shares a list immediately with me and says, this is what I need. 
can you get it for me? Well, with the power of the Google Assistant, I can immediately find out that Target has everything that I'm looking for and can have it delivered in whichever way I want. And all that requires is a simple voice command, OK, Google, buy me the shopping list. And think about what happens with that voice command. Google understands the context, understands the list, knows the inventory that's available, and knows the store that I prefer. And more importantly, it also knows what method of delivery I prefer, whether it's a pickup at the store or deliver to my home. Seamless, beautiful, personal assistant. We also know, though, that consumers come to Google when they want to shop. We have seven properties that have over a billion users each. Seven properties that have over a billion users each. And we know that 81% of 18 to 34 year olds come to Google when they're looking to buy something, when they're looking to buy something new. Nobody comes near that stat that Google has. Users come to Google because they want to shop. And it's no surprise that Google is the number one driver of traffic to retailers. By leveraging shopping ads, we have sent over 8 billion store visits in the last three years through Google Search. And every day, we get tens of millions of queries on image search. And you know, the first question that we get asked from users, the obvious one when they're interacting with image search, where can I buy this? How can I buy this product? The user wants to transact directly with the information that, they, that we're presenting to them. Which is why I am so excited to announce Google Shopping Actions. It's bringing the power of transaction capabilities with identity in a seamless fashion across Google platforms. We're starting with the sponsored shopping unit on Google Search and the Assistant, and we will be enabling it across multiple platforms of Google. Because we know that the consumer wants immediacy and wants to be able to buy right there and then. Shopping actions on Google brings the best of what Google can bring to the table in deep collaboration with retailers. Whether it's understanding identity, understanding context, understanding intent, it's this partnership with retailers, with the likes of Walmart, Target, where we bring the best of what Target and retailers know with insights that Google can bring to the table. We let consumers link their accounts that sends us a very strong signal of intent, the kind of retailer they want to interact with, and provides contextually relevant experience to the consumer right there and then across Google platforms, leveraging the offline and the online for a truly exceptional omni-channel experience. And we can't do this without the deep collaboration with retailers. We're bringing the power of machine learning and individual experience and the relationship that we have with the retailers to provide the consumer that experience that they're yearning for and that is truly differentiated. And we're already seeing tremendous success with retailers that are on our platform. Ulta, for instance, Ulta Beauty, has seen a 35% increase in basket size on our platform. Target has seen a 20% increase in basket size. And we have the red card integration coming soon on shopping actions. This is the kind of powerful partnership that Google wants with the retail ecosystem. And it will be a differentiated, unique experience, not only across Google, but across Omnichannel. In the end, I'm in the business of partnerships. That's what I've done my entire career. And I've gone through a lot. I recognize that in just a few minutes. But this really serves as Google's commitment to making you successful. Google is in the business of making retailers successful. 
We want your brands to be front and center. We want you to provide that seamless, unique experience with consumers, wherever that consumer may be. Because we know that in the end, even though the consumer is curious and demanding and impatient, what they're really asking for is a deep personal experience with you and with your brand. And we know that together that we can actually make shopping truly magic. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the show.